Oh, gold! Gold with a document! My Lord Lewis wins! Come on! Yeah! Stand up! It's your right. Stand up! Stand up! Finish goals! Against the club! So, this week is will go down as a weird week. Hello, my name's Laura Royal, and today it's Reading versus Cambridge. Look, today is massive, as always, with the club and the sale. Die Young putting the uh, training ground up to sale for Wicked Wanderers, nothing but a disgrace. But we've had talks about American owners, something about sports.com. I don't know, we'll, get to, we'll uh, give you more information on that very soon. But for me today, we're only ahead of them on goal difference, and it's going to be a close game. But 2 1, Sam Smith, and of course, Harvey, Harvey Nibs, Harvey Nibs, Harvey, Harvey Nibs on the score sheet. Come on, you Oz. But before we get down to the ground, here's what's been happening at Reading for the last week. Following the news this week that the training ground was set to be sold to local rivals Wickham Wanderers, Reading fans were outraged and launched a protest at Adams Park on Friday. However, on the same day, news from James Earnshaw gave hope to the Reading fans that there might be light at the end of the tunnel. This news was that new North American owners could be coming in to save the club from going under. So that day in the car, pre-match, that how we feeling? Well, today is the day. It's a proper six-pointer. Uh, Cambridge, uh, beautiful place actually. If you haven't been there, I'd recommend it uh, for a day out. Um, but back to the football. Um, what can you say? Uh, it's going to be a hard-fought game. Um, no captain for us today. Um, uh, you'd sent off away. Should have been very controversial. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I think we can take from that and build it today. Traffic's a nightmare, so you know I know it's meant to be a decent crowd today, but M4 shot are here. Traffic everywhere. Um, so we nicked, as you know, uh, Harvey Nibs and uh, Smith. Sam Smith, wasn't it? Sam yeah. Smith. We nicked for them last season. Uh, come back. To, uh, Sam Smith came back to Reading, as you know. Um, scored a good goal last week as well, Sam Smith. So I think Sam Smith will get a brace today. That's where you heard it first, guys. Sam Smith brace. Yep, Sam Smith great brace. And I think we might win 3-1 today. And uh, it's going to be a great game. Lots of atmosphere. You know, this week is will go down as a weird week. That aside, uh, there is also some positivity that we are we're going to get uh, uh, North American uh, new owners. So, come on, get behind the team, back the boys, make some noise, come on you ours! Silver here, pretty much, how are we feeling? Uh, yeah, I don't know, it was obviously the situation with, uh, with Wickham and getting beaten the week by Derby, but obviously Derby, we wasn't expecting to get a result there. Yes! Especially where we've been playing, but... I thought we might have got a draw, so I was disappointed that we got beat. But today, I reckon we are going to win today. I just think, I've got a funny gut feeling that's what's been going on all week. Um, I reckon we're going to win 3-2 today. Brilliant. Teams are out. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Get in, low ball, not cleared. Smith, keep it up out. But it's when you're one up, come on, you are. Yeah. Reading have been all over Cambridge. First couple minutes, all over them. Oh my lord, where is he? And again, Ben. Hey! Hey! Well done, Ben. Hey! 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 Stand up. It's your age. Die young. Stand up. Fair play to all the Cambridge that came down today. Big sport. Great club.
Want to touch by Femi Aziz. Gets past the player on the halfway line. Runs and scores. Come on! Cheers, guys. In the Jazz Club at half time. What can I say? We've done the basics extremely well. Touch from Femi Aziz. That second goal was chef's kiss. But look, Cambridge slightly turning up the heat in the end of the second half. Will it be close? Will it be a thrashing? Tough to say. I'm still going to go with my original prediction of 2 1 ready. Come on, you are. Smart here. Half time. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling great. I mean, it's amazing. I haven't been here for 20 years. I mean, I was freezing my nuts off at Elm Park back in the day with this clown. But, um, you know, it's really lovely to see. We're fighting a good fight. We're tuning up. You know, you hope we just survive and then see what next season brings. Yeah. Jazz are half time at the Jazz Club. How are we feeling? Yeah, not, not, um, well, I mean, 2-0 up, can't argue with that. I mean, they started well, good goal from Sam Smith. Uh, went a bit, sort of, a bit boring in the sort of middle part of the first half. And then uh, a late goal from Aziz, which unfortunately I missed because I was getting a beer. <laughs> but, uh, I heard it was good, so, you know, it's a must-win game and we're tuning up at half-time, so you can't really argue, can you? Then they're at the just half-time, how are we feeling? Uh, really good actually, um, you know I think today for me it was all about supporting the team, getting behind the team, we've got a really good crowd today and I think that's shown, uh, the team has stepped up, played some really good football, dominated the football, um, good to see a few changes as well and uh, you know, I think we're going to be alright and hopefully what's going on behind the scenes will get itself sorted out really quickly. All right, so, yeah lovely, alright. Stand half time at the Jazz Club, how are we feeling? Lovely job, McGuinness. Hold on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful bit of black stuff. Mate, you know what? I'm made up. I'm made up. It's 2 0. I missed Aziz's goal. Apparently, it was class. Kicked it over his back, ran on, banged it in. However, newsflash I got Sam Smith as the first goal scorer. Oh. Further newsflash. If he scores a brace, if. I'm up for five quid at 17 to one. Bears Come on, on you are. I've just seen the most outrageous double save of my life with Joel Pereira. What a boy, what a goalkeeper. Joel Pereira. He scored again. Oh, get me on him. Lewis Wing. My Lord, Lewis Wing. It's a brilliant goal with the volley. Tighten it in, what more can you do? Come on! Connor said to me, second goal is massive, and he's right. No, next goal, sorry, next goal's massive, and he's right. 3 0, come on! I was going to say before the goal that Cambridge were outplaying us in the second half, but Vince had been all over them. Every single went the pitch. What a performance from the boys today. What a goal! Kelvin A. Matthewman! Any words? Any words? I don't know where the fuck that's going. <laughs> what a goal! 4-0. Yeah, yeah. oh. Corner into later stages of the game. Cambridge today have been con, you know, completely outplayed, but, you know, still for them. Ten goals conceded in their last two, not great. And yes, guys, I'm back from the match. Wow, 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 what can I say? 4-0 and some four, you know, pretty good goals, you know. Maybe the keeper should have done better with two of them, Sam Smith and Aziz, but Lewis Wing and Kelvin. Woo! Bangers. If you did enjoy this video... Please do like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of me, go and follow my Twitter, which you'll see in just a second. And as always, guys, stay loyal.